yes, 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 yes. Excuse me. What do you do for a living? What? What do you do for a living? Oh, you're that, uh, that guy. You do the videos on TikTok. Um... I ask people what they do for a living. Yes. Yeah. So. Excuse me. What do you do for a living? What? What do you do for a living? Oh, you're that guy that, uh... Um... Ask people who ask people what they do for a living, what they do for a living, yeah. Excuse me. Hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, I know you, you, uh... Ask people who ask people who ask people what they do for a living, what they do for a living, what they do for a living. Excuse me. What do you do for a living? I asked that. No, I asked you, she asked me. Wait, what? Do you do for a living? No, I asked people who asked people who asked people. No, I asked people who asked people. And then I asked them. Oh. And that's why I'm asking you, because I ask people who ask people who ask people who ask people what they do for a living. What they do for a living. I ask people. What they do for a living. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Buddy. Oh my god, you're that guy. I'm the guy. Yeah. We'll ask other guys, we're asking guys. We're attack ask investor. I'm attack investor. Anyone cares? That's so cool, dude. I, I love your videos. Appreciate it. It's a lot of work. Excuse me. What? What? Can't store slap. Wait, is this what you do for a living? Well, I probably I guess I do some other Twitter swallow. Start young. Can I come tour your place? Excuse me. Uh, are you really asking me what you do for a living? Yeah, yeah, really. That's important for your margin. I'm focused on the you gotta be fucking kidding me! One, two, three, four, five. Let's try this again. Those are the Ten Commandments that God hath bestowed upon us. Let us all live in His holy word and walk in His footsteps. His footsteps? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Grass ass feet. Uh, but there's a, oh, what? There's an 11th commandment. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see that before. It says on the back of this one, thou shalt not make fun of another man's body, especially his feet. <laughs> God said that. Yes, Ishmael, God said that. So, you better act accordingly. God laid out the most important rules for humanity. And one of them is to not make fun of another man's feet. Yep. <laughs> so, if any of you are doing that, quit it. Or face the wrath of God. Oh. Look, I thought it was weird too. But I've learned not to question the big guy. I don't make the rules. It kind of... Kinda of sounds like you did, though. What? No! God gave me these tablets. He spoke them to me. Maybe God heard you guys talking behind someone's back and thought it wasn't very nice. You can't just lie about a commandment from God because we say, Moses has hairy toes is behind your back. Mm, see? Now it finally comes out. I knew it! It's not my fault I have hairy, gross feet, all right? It was these gross feet that led your sorry asses out of Egypt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You didn't seem too mad when I put these hairy toes in that water and part of the Red Sea. Huh? Did you, Ishmael? We're just poking a little fun, Moses. Come on, why don't you smoke some of that burning bush and calm down, right? <laughs> calm down. Calm down? You know who else wanted me to calm down? Hmm? Hmm? Pharaoh! Do it too soon. Oh, Moses, calm down. Please stop spreading locusts. Stop turning our water to blood, Moses. Oh, Moses, please calm down and stop killing our firstborn children. It was a little overkill. I speak to God. There is no overkill. I am the messenger, the vessel of our Savior's song. I 
am the conduit through which the Lord of existence speaks with his creation. I'm motherfucking Moses, bitch. So seriously, guys, stop making fun of my feet. It's not nice. It's true. They outnumber us. But we have seen worse. They say they will take our land. Do you believe them? We are warriors. Today is our moment. Today we write our fates. What did he say? I have no idea. It sounded nice. Yeah. We should have gotten closer to the front. I feel like we have the worst seats in the formation. We do not want to get closer to the front. These guys are going to get murdered immediately. Yeah, but look how amped they are. Oh, I'd kill to hear what he's saying. But I ask you, will you die for your homes? Will you die for your countrymen? Are they saying raw or not? You think they're saying nah? We're all out here already. Yeah, well, I was just, you know. What is raw? Honestly, I don't even know. Because I'm not a real soldier. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to ruin the murder pump up speech. Jeez. You shh. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Are we on a team or are we fighting each other okay, right let's now? Just I'll focus. Let's focus. I think we're about to charge. I don't really want to charge, because honestly, I'm only out here because your mom told my mom that I need to be outside more and get more active. Yeah, but returning from a victorious battle? That feeling? And, uh, Persephone said she's got a thing for soldiers, so... Persephone said that? Oh, she said that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. One battle. Deal. Oh my god. You know, in some ways, it's even braver not to fight at all. Totally. It's, yeah. I feel like laying your weapons down and being the bigger man is the bravest thing you could do. Mm hmm. See at the house. Yep. There's an understudy tonight. I wish they'd tell us before we show up that we're not getting the A team. You know? Babe? Paging Mr. President? Sorry, babe. I'm just stuck on earlier. Stop worrying about it. The speech was great. I just feel I could have phrased it differently. I said I wanted free slaves, not free the slaves. <clears throat> Whatever. Let's just. Focus on the show and I'll fix it tomorrow. Toodaloo, motherfucker. And then I said Andy Warhol. More like Andy Borhol. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, his work will surely soon be forgotten. <laughs> May I just say? Why, yes, Charles. Look at this piece right here. So simple, yet so poignant, you know? Mm. Is the mop holding up the wall, or is the wall holding up the mop? Mm. Mm. Yes, it, it seems to be a statement regarding uh, capitalism's mm. reliance on undervalued labor. Mm. And vertical thinking. The gap yes. between the mop and the wall is getting smaller and smaller. The sculptor is practically begging for an end to wage inequality. Mm. Yes, yes, and I feel almost silly addressing the obvious, but the wall is straight and the mop is not. Mm. Dare I say. Free love. <laughs> the heartbeat of the beatnik drums on. And this artist is no doubt a fan of the late Dr. King. Mm, indubitably, indubitably. Uh, uh, I have a dream. It's to have more art like this. <laughs> sure, I love Picasso's blue period, but I want to see some art on a black period. <clears throat> right. A 
thank you for your service. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that act. <laughs> Performance piece. It's a performance piece. It's performance art. Uh, it's performance art. Yes. Yes. The janitor is us. Ooh, that's it. That's it. One is perpetually picking up the mop because mm. the job is, is is never quite finished. A Hobbesian oh, perspective. Hobbesian. Yes. Hobbesian. Yes. yes. No it. doubt. Precisely. No doubt. Mm. <sighs> Floor is a little dirty though. <clears throat> Yes, yes, uh, quite filthy. Could use a mop. Huh. Apparently Mr. Belling just got the new Neuralink installed. Yeah, I heard he uh, fired Nina. I guess you don't need an assistant to have a computer chip in your brain. Neuralink? Schedule a meeting for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Also, how much is the room tonight at the Ritz-Carlton? Not bad. Can you imagine Google searching from your own brain? Porn's gotta be amazing. What? What? I mean, it's cool and all, it's just so expensive. Six thousand dollars? Uh, there's actually a free version. What? What do you mean? I mean, you could pay six thousand macaroons for the original, <laughs> if you like doing that. But this brain boost is completely free. Oh. oh my God. And I didn't need one of those robot doctors to needle it into my brain. Just a couple of YouTube videos in a mirror. <laughs> and it works completely fine. Go ahead. Hit me with something. Okay, okay, yeah. What is 145 times 457? Ralph? Nope, sorry, I had to uh, relaunch the app real quick. Uh, 145 times 457, 66,265. Whoa. Uh, okay, what is the population of Philadelphia? Oh, I don't know, maybe 1.576 million? <laughs> He's right. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, President of Botswana. Okay, sure. Did you know that it's two for one holiday munchkins at Dunkin'? Yum. What is happening? Uh, it has ads. Erectile dysfunction is common in men of all ages. With blue chews, you can get hard and stay hard. It's not that hard. You guys want a, a promo code or something? Yeah. No. No. Masisi. <laughs> right there. President of Botswana. Does that hurt? No. Of course not. And even if it did, I would just. Yo, he's glitching. Oh, sorry. I hit a paywall. Let me just think another ad real quick. Is this thing serving ads to your brain all day? Yeah, but it's all stuff that I like. I think. Dude, you need to get this out. <laughs> no, I don't. What I need is Cinnabon. My favorite thing in the whole wide world is Cinnabon Bun Bites. Cinnabon, half off right now. There's actually a spot uh, 0 0.3 miles away that we could hit right now, make a quick stop at Chevron, get a couple of blue chews. Fine. Yeah, no. I, I, I mean, no. Rob, your nose is bleeding. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's actually, that's completely normal. Uh, <laughs> but there's actually a lot of things that make your brain bleed. Um, red meat, pineapple, uh, brain trauma. Pineapple does not make your brain bleed. Yeah, neither does brain boost. It clearly does. No, it doesn't. Nicholas Cooper Rollins, son of Martha and Kyle Rollins, graduate of Oberlin College. I thought you went to Harvard. Oberlin is the Harvard of the Midwest. No, it's not! Rob, dude, are you okay? I'm better than okay. I have the body of a man and the mind of a computer. I know everything. I know that Nicholas lives at the Olive Garden. When you're here, your family. 244 West Chestnut Drive. Every day you taste the rainbow, smell the rainbow, become the rainbow. Drive northbound on the bridge of the I-95 at approximately 8.17 a.m. you know that? Information that would be very convenient in the hands of a hitman that only charges $15,000 unmarked, untraceable Bitcoin. Dude, are you on the dark web? I am the dark web! If you have erections that last longer than six hours... <laughs> Initiating launch goes four, five, eight, eight, one, six, five.
Anyway, if you guys want to try it out, uh, I could introduce you to my doctor who installed it, <laughs> me. We could maybe get it going, like, over lunch. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep up Mr. Bailing somehow, right? <laughs> <laughs> the porn is amazing. I knew it. Ooh. Not again, Doc!